Hi, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford, and I'm here in the gymnasium of Francis Wyman Elementary School. As you can see, we've got quite a lot going on. This is Science Night, put on by this department's uh, Science Center. So we're going to take a look, check it out, and talk to some people who can tell us what they have going on tonight. There was so much to do at the Science Night, including making paper rockets and a harmonica-type instrument, to checking out and even petting some nocturnal animals. I needed to find someone who could give me an overview. So now I'm here with one of the organizers, Sean Musselman of the Burlington Public Schools Science Center. So Sean, just give me a sort of an overview of some of the activities that we have here. Sure, so the Science Night is a great opportunity to bring all the families of one of our elementary schools together. We have a whole bunch of activities that are and aren't related tonight. As you can see behind us, we have lots of kids creating their own constellations. We also have um, some glow paint where they're actually putting together their own Big Dipper to help them find the North Star. We also have mystery matter, kind of like an oobliky slime. We ask them to decide if it's a solid or a liquid. Yeah, we've had a lot of kids showing us that, so wh wh which one is it? Uh, that's not for me to sell. A, uh, a, a science teacher never reveals the answer, but we hope that they'll be inspired to investigate it and explore further. And I noticed one of the big attractions is uh, obviously the, the live animals, always a sure. fun thing. So what are, the, what are some of the things that the kids can see and do there? Right, so the live animals are always a showcase feature at our science nights. Miss Pavlicek does a great job of introducing a lot of nocturnal animals, animals that we don't typically see outside of zoos um, because they're out mostly at night. I went to check out the animals myself and speak with Wendy Pavlicek of the Burlington Science Center to learn more about the display. What other kind of uh, animals are, we, uh, are people here able to see today? Um, we, since it's a star night or a night theme, we brought all the nocturnal animals, the animals that are mainly active or um, hunt during the nighttime. So we have cockroaches, a species of snake, we have some lizards or a gecko, we have a young um, juvenile possum down there, we have toad, hamster, gec uh, the gecko lizard I said, oh, and a hedgehog. And um, so, r real quick, what are you kind of hoping that the kids kind of get out of this exhibit, you know, in this, this part of it? Um, we're hoping that the kids get to see some animals up close, learn a little about them. This is also an important experience for the high school science center aides that work with us in the science center. They get to interact with the younger generation and get to speak and learn some information about the animals. And we hope that they have an appreciation for these animals and um, respect them while they're in nature and hopefully pass that down, um, you know, in the generations to come. I also wanted to speak to some of the students at the Science Night and get their impressions and, as you'll see, learn more about this mysterious material. Can you tell me your name? Ryan Gedick. Hi Ryan, so what have you seen here today that speaks your interest? Um, there's straw rockets over there and there's little goop over there. Yeah, and what's something that you've learned or something you've really liked so far? Um, I liked the goop because it's like you get to pick if it's um, a solid or a liquid. Alright, so uh, first of all can you guys tell me your names? I'm Anthony. I'm Anastasia. And what do you guys have here? This uh, nice looking concoction in your hand. Like a goo oozy thing. Yeah, it's like here. oobleck. That's what they called it. And what does it feel like? It feels like squishy kind of and kind of like damp. Wet. Or moist. Yeah. And what have you learned about it? What, what, what is its purpose here? I've learned nothing. <laughs> Good to know. No, um, it's kind of like a little bit of both of a liquid and a solid. Because, I mean, you can hold it, but yet it drips, kind of. All right. And now I am here with... Julia, Jenna, and Bella. All right. So, Julia, tell me something. What is what are something interesting or some, one of your favorite things that you've seen here tonight? I love the oobleck, and I'm so excited to see the star show. Oh, the star show. That is going to be good. And how about you? What's something that you found to be interesting? Um, I like the animals. Those are really cool. And did you have a favorite? Um, I like the uh, snake. All right. If you like the snake, let me ask you. Were you brave enough to touch it? Yes. Oh, well, very good. And how about you? What do you, what do you have here? Um, I have a rocket, um, a straw rocket, and so basically you just roll it up on a pencil and put like little paper piece of paper on the end so it will fly and um, when you sh you have to blow into the straw and it will shoot the rocket um, off oh, um, anywhere you want. And now I'm here with, what's your name? Molly. 
And what do you what did you find so far that you really like at the Science Center? I really like um, how you can make your and do interesting things here. Do you, do you have a favorite? My so far my favorite is learning about the stars. Yeah, and what what did you really like about that? Because you got to make your own constellation here, and um, and you got and you when you go home, you can put it on your wall, and you can see it glow your wall glowing up. There's certainly a lot happening here at the uh, Francis Wyman Science Night. Uh, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford, and back to you in the studio.